Hey y'all, um, I am, I think I found another website that might be better. So times10hosting.com is a free site um, that has all the features that I think we want to look for. So um, you'll create a site. Again, you're going to go to your email um, and go through create the new account. So I've gone through my um, uh, process again you're going to get the e email confirmation that you need to do that kind of stuff and you're going to go um, when you log in you're going to be uh, after you establish your new account you're going to look for this open cPanel um, business and I'm going to close all this down so I don't have and you're going to get the cPanel which is similar to what we were looking at uh, so you don't have any websites so I'm going to create uh, and add a website here and I'm going to call this bistro see here um, I'm not going to add an address path but the address path will be important because it'll be whatever my file is called so I'm going to add that website so I'm going to go ahead and click on that you can see I had something there but it's not there so let's go to my website as I tested so um, I don't actually don't know what this is supposed to be, but what I can see is the file manager, and that's what I go to. So I've made my bistro site, and I'm going to go to the file manager, and you can see the directory is empty. And we're again we're in the public HTML um, file, so that's really important. So I'm going to upload, um, and what I've done is I've taken my file here. Um, here's my file that I want to make. I'm going to go ahead and get it ready to upload. So I'm going to compress. And there's my zip file. So I'm going to make it super easy. So I'm going to upload. Now this was a little confusing because I'm going to choose that zip file. I'm going to upload. And then it's not super clear. that Down there it says complete, but it's not super clear. So you want to make sure uh, that you wait a second. There it is. So there's my file. I'm going to now extract my zip file. And I'm going to extract it into the public HTML folder. There's all the files that are there. My site's, this in case, called the Cupcakery, and I have my index.html. This is super important. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to add the word slash Cupcakery, because that's the folder that it's in. And there's my site. So again, if you look, that's the subheading. If I extracted all these files into the public HTML, this file itself would be my home page but it's not because I have that full folder so it's saying go into the public HTML go into the cupcakery and there's the website so that's fine and there's my website so we got an issue here prices is working recipes so those are all working so I didn't double check that so I'm gonna go back to my home page then the other thing that you want to do is go to the validator And this was working also, so you can see I was already here. And you can see there's some warnings and some errors in this HTML. That's all fine. So you can see there's some things I need to fix, but this is all working. So in um, the 215 folder, I want to go add this as my blog, and then I can upload this zip file into the Dropbox. Okay, I hope that all makes sense.